Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking Proxima Midnight to rank 4. And I'll talk to you a little bit while I'm leveling her up as to why I decided to do this. So here we go. And she is now my latest rank 4. Now, I have not been a fan of Proxima Midnight, not because she's not good, but because she excels at longer fights, and I don't like long fights. So how she works is basically similar to Corvus, except that where Corvus fulfills his missions in multiple fights, and he excels in very short bursty fights she completes her missions during a single fight all right so let's take a look very quickly at her here here we go and uh i'll give you a look at her attributes that sounds so naughty all right so you can see there, you can see her synergies here. Now, this one right here, this special assist synergy, uh, you can't see it here because it's one that Corvus has with her, uh, but that is the reason that I'm actually taking her up. Uh, I use her a lot with Corvus in Alliance Quest, and she's pretty much dead weight. I've used her before to take someone down, but it wasn't a pleasant experience. However, with her at rank four, it should make her a little bit more useful and hopefully save me some resources. All right, so here we go. You can see her abilities here. Now, here are the missions. This is the big budget items here. So in a single fight, she will get one of these three missions and they are random and the order is random. So you might start the fight and you may have to complete mission one or mission three or mission two. And you complete that in a fight and then you'll get, of course, a buff and then you'll get the next mission. So if you can complete all three of these missions in a single fight, uh, you're going to do a lot of damage. Her special three is one of the most devastating in the game. So if you're doing a long fight, especially like in Labyrinth of Legends, you will hit the damage cap. So we're going to play around with her a little bit. Uh, let's see. You take a look at the rest of her abilities. I have not done a closer look video on her. So in this video, we're just going to take her into Realm of Legends. I'm going to try to get all of the missions completed. Uh, I hate that second mission, the intercept mission. Uh, but we're going to try to get all of the missions completed. And then I'll fire off a special three. And we'll see how much damage we can do. All right. So let's go to Realm of Legends. Okay, so you see the team that I decided to go in here with. Uh, you can look this up later, but I activated all of Proxima's synergies. Now, this fight, I want to make sure I, I let you guys understand, because uh, I had a comment, and I know new folks may not be familiar with how I do these things, but this video is a rank up and gameplay video. So even though I want to showcase a little bit about Proxima, this video is not meant to show you the absolute best way to play her or anything like that but i do get all the missions completed but you'll notice in this video i make some mistakes now i'm coming out with a closer look video after this one and i have another fight against winter soldier and that fight well just wait and see that fight is showing how you should play proxima all right, so here we are. We got the first mission done. 
and it was a pretty easy mission uh, knockdown this mission is the parry so you just have to parry him you can see the counter going down up there and her damage is ramping up so you know keep an eye on her damage as well and the hardest mission is coming up very shortly uh, but you can see she has some damage buffs up and then she will get uh, another one once those wear out there you go now they're permanent and she now has the intercept mission I hate this mission uh, because if the AI is not aggressive it's far more difficult and although I intercept all the time I find that when I'm actually trying to intercept that's when I have problems like that okay and he was not being very aggressive and so I wasn't able to get the intercept see how I'm trying to go back and hit him do a backdraft but he's not attacking he's just standing there and so I'm hitting him but since he wasn't attacking I'm not getting the intercept okay there there we got all the intercepts so now we have all of the missions uh, done however because I got hit I don't have the mission that she gets from her signature ability I need to have a high combo count since I have the Corvus uh, synergy I just need to get to 75 hits on my combo meter and then I will have a fourth mission completed so what you're seeing there you're seeing her special three and you see how much damage that did and look at that long stun but bear in mind that that's not the most damage that she can do and in my closer look video you're going to see how much damage she can do when you actually do it right okay so this fight is a good wet your whistle type of a fight uh, I wanted you to see her specials in case you haven't seen her specials before there's not a lot of uh, Proxima gameplay out there and for good reason uh, but she is actually not that bad it's just that she excels at the long fights and I would prefer to have my fights over rather quickly all right so that's gonna do it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video look for my closer look video all right so click like subscribe leave a comment and let me know what you thought about the video what are your experiences with Proxima Midnight and tomorrow I should have the closer look video out so you guys have a blessed day